So good afternoon, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for all of us for joining us today. We have the pleasure to have uh, uh, three, three panelists. Huh? We have uh, Iro Ori, the managing director of the new Omar Santorini and actually the entire group, the Airport Collection. We have Sandra Rimenez, uh, the director of sales from the school and Manac Barcelona, and Pascal Conten, director of sales of both the IP, uh, Vivo Saint Tropez. So I think we're going to start with you, Pascal, and I'm going to share my own screen because I know you're going to be talking about the Biblos on your screen. So, on my screen. So it's Hi, this is Tina with Sinski. I'm hoping everyone can so hear So I will one for everybody. We're going to keep the question for the end. And if you want to switch up the mic, uh, oh, I'm going to do it quickly. And Okay, I can start now. I'm just finishing up to click up to close on the old mic. If you're not doing it, I'm gonna do it myself. <laughs> so sorry about that. I didn't realize we had the, everyone needs to mute themselves, huh? but I'm helping, I'm helping and my muting myself one by one. So voila, perfect. We will open all the mic. You can open all the mic uh, at the end. Huh? Voila. All right, so Pascal. This so is hello to everybody and thank you for, for joining us for this uh, presentation. Uh, I suppose a lot of you uh, know uh, the Biblas in Saint-Tropez. We are uh, a seasonal hotel, so usually we open six months a year from uh, mid-April until mid-October. So this year we had opened, of course, a bit later. So we opened the, uh, the hotel the 17th of June. Um, so you arrive at the Biblos and the heart of the hotel is the pool area where we have uh, uh, the bar and uh, the uh, gastronomic restaurant. Uh, so the, um, the hotel has uh, a very nice uh, location because it's uh, in the heart of uh, the village of Saint-Tropez. So everything is walking distance, except if you want to go to uh, Pampelon beaches, uh, which are uh, out of the village, we have uh, a free uh, chauffeur service to uh, bring our guests back and forth to, to the beaches. So we have another restaurant. This one, the Cucina, is an Italian restaurant. We have with uh, Alain Ducasse, uh, the French chef. So we opened open Cucina last year, uh, but we worked with Alain Ducasse for many, many, many years, for at least uh, 15 years, exactly. Um, so we have uh, 90 rooms, uh, uh, half rooms, half suites, and all the rooms are different even in the same category. Uh, this, is, uh, this hotel uh, belongs to uh, a French family and uh, Mrs. Chevan, the owner, uh, likes to choose all the, the details for decoration in, in the room. So it's, very, um, it's a very homey atmosphere. It's really like, uh, and I think that's why we have, we are, uh, this hotel is timeless because we still have this uh, uh, ambiance uh, like uh, an old house, but uh, uh, more and more contemporary, I would say. Not too uh, modern, but uh, uh, more and more uh, or less and less classic. So we have uh, nice uh, combinations of connecting rooms because we have a lot of repeat guests coming for many years. So uh, we have had uh, children and grandchildren. So we have uh, we are very uh, friendly, uh, family friendly, and um, we have uh, which is a bit uh, specific in the hotel the the suite uh, the duplex suite and the junior suite uh, duplex. So we have something like uh, 20, 25 uh, duplex in the hotel and, uh, and something like uh, 10 different categories. So all the rooms, of course, don't have a pool view or sea view, but uh, we have a very nice garden. Of course, we have just a few of, the, of them which are uh, by the street, but uh, it's a, a small village, so very charming village, which is great. Uh, for me, the, the best is to be located in the, in the center of the village because the traffic can be horrible sometimes. 
So as I said, they are all different. And the latest one is the, the suite Missoni, the two bedroom suite. We have uh, uh, completely renovated uh, this two bedroom suite uh, three years ago for the 50th anniversary of the hotel. So Rosita Missoni came and chose with the designer, with the, the, the owner and their designer, the all the, um, the the fabrics and everything and everything is missoni in this uh, in this uh, suite so as you can see sun beds and uh, and even bathrobes in the in the bathroom and everything so we have a very nice uh, spa with the uh, sisley we opened uh, the spa uh, in 2007 and uh, in this spa we integrated this uh, libanese room which is uh, uh, a room we have from the, the, the beginning, the construction of the hotel, and uh, it's now part of the, the spa uh, because it's really a um, uh, special ambience we, which uh, fits very well with uh, the atmosphere of, uh, of a spa. We have uh, five treatment rooms and two VIPs in the spa. Uh, of course, the uh, hammam and uh, sauna, etc. And we have two uh, fitness rooms in the hotel. We have one more private for, uh, of course, private coaches or, I mean, be different, but uh, we have two uh, in the heart of the hotel. And uh, of course, we have uh, a nightclub, Les Caves du Roi, uh, usually open every night in July and August and uh, over the weekends in lower seasons. But this year we have uh, finally decided not to open because uh, of the situation. And uh, it was not uh, possible to open uh, a nightclub because it's not permitted. But so we could have done like a, a, a bar style, but we, we decided not to do it. So some places uh, in Saint Tropez do we decided, our owners uh, decided not to open uh, the, the nightclub this year. So we, we are looking forward to, uh, to being to next year, <laughs> to, to have the possibility to uh, see people again uh, in, in the nightclub. So uh, the beach has opened in June and, uh, and it's quite uh, crowded. We, we work very, very well. Uh, so it's open every day, uh, only for lunch, uh, and so we have uh, uh, something like 110 seats in the restaurant and uh, quite the same number of uh, sun beds. And we are really uh, close to the sea, uh, as some other beaches on Pampelon are a bit further. And we are located near Club 55. If some of you know, uh, uh, of course, uh, Pamplon beaches, so you know for sure Club 55. So it's really a nice uh, cuisine, Mediterranean cuisine. Uh, and the, the, the service and the attention from our staff is the same as uh, the hotel, because uh, some of uh, the Biblos staff of the hotel, Biblos, uh, worked at the hotel before. So it's really, and we recognize the the hotel guests, and so it's um, it's really nice to have uh, people from uh, from the hotel there. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Pascal. As I see, only one question for you. Maybe you want to answer right now. At the Biblos, you get much noise from the town or the nightclub. Are the room soft, uh, soundproof? So uh, from the, I would say from the village, no. We we don't from the street. We are not. Uh, I mean, I cannot say it's a hundred percent hotel, quite hotel. Of course, we are in the village, but we do not have a, a complaint from the the street uh, noise. Of course, from the nightclub when it's open, we have uh, something like uh, five, six rooms which are noisy. But we always advise people, I mean, the guests or the travel agent, that we propose a noisy room. So we have our guests for these rooms, but uh, 
uh, usual guests will come for that, but uh, we always advise uh, people that uh, the rooms we propose are, are noisy, but it's just, yeah, five, six uh, rooms only. I see some more questions, but as we promised to go with the floor, uh, we're going to start with a presentation of uh, Iro, and we will answer uh, the other question later for you for Pascal. Huh? Okay. So Iro, if you don't mind to want to share your, your screen, huh? yes. Iro is yes, uh, the managing director, for the one who came a little later, the managing director of Oma Santorini, which is part of a new group called Epoch Collection. And uh, Iro will show us a beautiful and brand new hotel that's opening next year now. So hello everybody, thank you very much for joining us tonight, it's a pleasure to be here. And what I will do is I'm going to switch off my camera just to make sure that we don't have any internet issues with the connection. And then we can start our presentation. So this is our wonderful Oma Santorini. Uh, we opened last year in July. Unfortunately, uh, this year we have decided not to open because of uh, the circumstances, but we do look forward to welcoming you and your clients next year. Uh, we go with um, our saying maximum service and minimum intrusion. So we want our guests to feel free. We want them to feel safe and pampered. And because we have the most desired advantage on the island, we are spaciously laid out and away from the busy island crowd, which is actually ideal for an, for, a, for an island as is Santorini, which tends to become very busy during the high season and the months of June until August and September. Just to give you an idea of where we're located, we're actually on the highest vantage and narrowest point of Santorini. And the hotel boasts an amazing 360 degree view, which is where also our name comes from. So Oma in ancient Greek means vision. From many parts of the hotel, one can both see the spectacular caldera view, as well as spellbinding uh, sea view from the rear part of the property. And this is uh, because we are located uh, exactly on the tip of the village of Imerovigli, and uh, we are actually the last hotel before moving on towards the village of Hoya. And we're also uh, very privately located there because we have no neighboring properties. So we do combine utmost privacy with uh, direct accessibility. We're actually quite close to the airport and the port and just merely a 10 minute drive from Thera, the, the, the island's uh, main town, let's say, and a 20-minute drive from Oya, which also has beautiful sunsets. This is to give you an idea of our property. You will see, as I mentioned before, that we are entirely located on uh, the tip of Imerovigli on our own. We have no neighboring properties, which is quite uh, actually unique for the island of Santorini. And we are also completely flat, which means that our guests do not have to get tired going up and down a number of stairs. We have direct access from the road and uh, a dedicated parking area as well, which make things much easier for our guests too. Now, why Oma? Of course, uh, I'm going to tell you because of our private location, our accessibility, our, the way we're laid out, our beautiful sunrise, and sunset views and our 360 degree uh, vantage point. We have our double level signature infinity pool which overlooks the beautiful spellbinding sunsets of, on the caldera. The, minimum the minimal, excuse me, cycladic aesthetics. We also have five private villas which feature their own uh, private swimming pools and gardens and uh, a rooftop which I will show you a little bit later in our presentation. We are a family-friendly hotel, which is quite important for Santorini uh, because we're, we're one of the few hotels that actually overlooks the caldera and also accepts children of all ages. We have a, a selection of F&B outlet locations, which I will tell you more about uh, in a few minutes. We have a wide range of personalized amenities. Uh, we have our LMS spa, but above all, the reason why we exist is because we want to make our guests feel special at heart. 
Our pool is actually one of the biggest on the island. And because of our spacious outdoor areas, we're able to very easily space out our lounging areas around the pool, which gives plenty of space and a great sense of privacy to all our guests. So with a number of delicacies, shops and wellness treats throughout the day, our team wows each and every single guest, making them feel as if they are truly unique, which is actually what each guest is for us. Just to give you a small idea of the interior, we have cycladic minimal aesthetic, as I said. We consider it to be uh, actually local architecture at its best. We greatly emphasize on simplicity and bespoke room amenities that are personalized to the greatest possible extent. So whether it's a gift on arrival with our guests' initials or a turn down treat with cookies featuring our guests' names, we always try to get to know as much as possible before our guests arrive so we can fully personalize their stay from the moment they arrive at the airport or the port of the beautiful Santorini. So although Santorini is famed for being a honeymoon destination, as you all may know, uh, with many of the luxury five-star properties being adults only, uh, we do welcome many other traveler profiles which are very important to us. And, uh, that is not only honeymooners and couples, who are, of course, a significant portion of our clientele, but also young couples with children who are looking for luxury boutique personalized services and not wanting to go to a hotel that will be full of children. In some way, they are able to, to combine romance and the beautiful setting of Santorini with luxury in a hotel that will cater and respect and uh, make their children feel uh, at home and uh, pampered as well. Because we're located directly access from the road and we don't feature many stairs, we're also, we're also very ideal for baby mooners as well. And small groups, of course, and uh, families and small celebrations with our villas, which I will go on to show you a little bit later. Here is a, one of our junior suites with plunge pool. I would like to let you know that most of our rooms and our suites feature their own private plunge pool. So guests have the ability to choose between lounging by our spacious double level infinity swimming pool, but also in their own private plunge pool. Uh, we have many suites that can accommodate up to three guests very comfortably in a sofa bed. This is our honeymoon resonate with the caldera view and a plunge pool. It's actually one of my favorite uh, suites. Uh, the, the lower floor has a small seating area, a bar and uh, a bathroom. And on the upper um, level of the suite, we have a spacious uh, room, bedroom and a, and a second bathroom. And our terrace is actually quite spacious because we have our private plunge pool, we have our sun beds, and we also have a dining area for guests that wish to enjoy private dining. The very special feature of this room and of a few other rooms of the hotel is that we, we offer a view of the caldera and of the sea view. So it's a truly 360 degree panoramic view. It really is spectacular. This is the outdoor uh, area of our residence suite, which is actually uh, one of our most spacious suites in the hotel. It's perfect for families or just for couples that enjoy having uh, more space to their own. From the residence suite, you can also enjoy a uh, caldera and a uh, uh, GNC view. So again, we offer the 360 degree view from here. And this is uh, an idea of the interior of our residence suite as well. Here you will find our infinity suites. These suites are literally hanging off the caldera and we would say they are actually ideal for guests who are on honeymoon, uh, who wish to enjoy the, the truly um, spectacular setting of the caldera and the sunset. This is the private plunge pool from our infinity suites. And last but definitely not least is our private, uh, our private villas with their own private swimming pools. We have five villas that feature two levels. The ground level can either be sold as a double room 
or a seating area. So it's set up depending on our guests' needs. And the upper level is a double room with its own bathroom as well. So our villas are actually perfect for families, for uh, two couples, for a group of friends, or simply for a couple that enjoy a lot of space and their own privacy with their own private swimming pool. Moving on to give you a small idea of what our cuisine is like, because Santorini is actually uh, an, an amazing place to enjoy delicacies and gastronomy. We have a fresh take on Greek Mediterranean cuisine with a twist, and guests can enjoy more com comfort food, relaxed lunch with two options. One in our alfresco dining restaurant, which is um, on the bottom left side of your screen and one by the pool again. And for dinner, we, all, we offer a more fine dining approach, which is on the top left part of your screen. Guests are welcome uh, to the high level of the property. We have a spacious terrace that provides an amazing caldera view by night. We organize our atmospheric live music nights uh, throughout the season. And we also are able to offer part of this area for special dining celebrations for small wedding celebrations. Usually when we have larger wedding celebrations, these take place on the ground level of the hotel, right by our uh, double level signature infinity pool. We have a beautiful deck area that can be set up in any way that our guests prefer to enjoy their wedding celebration. Breakfast is also as indulging as uh, our other meals of the day because we consider it to be very, very important. It's a celebration of its own. And we offer our champagne Bellini breakfast. These are the two gentlemen behind our delicious cuisine. Uh, the day-to-day -day operation is run by the gentleman on your left uh, side of the screen, Chef Alexandros Sofianos who is under the supervision and consultancy of the renowned executive chef, Dimitris Stamoudis. Our spa is uh, in cooperation with the renowned Elemis brand, and we have combined therapies using the aura of Santorini, uh, together with the very well-known and excellent uh, expertise that Elemis brings with it. Closing, I would like to travel you to Santorini and show you just uh, our ama an amazing taste of our sunset. Um, this is what I guess say, it's not actually what I say. We feature the very best sunset view of the island. And um, we've had many, many guests running back to the hotel in the afternoon just to simply enjoy uh, the beautiful sunset uh, by the hotel because they enjoy a beautiful sunset in, uh, in combination with privacy, which is a little bit difficult to find uh, on the island of Santorini. Now, before I leave you and we conclude the presentation, I would like um, to take a few more seconds to give you a small sneak preview of the next property coming up by Epoch Collection. And this is the Xenodohio Milos. A little bit difficult to pronounce, but I'm sure you all know the brand Milos, which are well-known restaurants around the world. And we are honored to be opening the very first uh, Milos Hotel, actually, right in the city center of Athens in the most prime location. So stay tuned for more um, news from the pop collection. And thank you all very, very much uh, for listening and for joining us tonight. Thank you very much, Hiro. So there are two questions for you. But we're going to give the, the mic to Sandra, and we will answer all the questions at the end. Huh? So Sandra, Director of Sales and Marketing, for the, I see that some of you just joined, and um, Director of Sales and Marketing for the Almanac Barcelona. Sandra. OK, so hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. And uh, it's a pleasure to show you our super hotel. So let me see. Give me one second. Okay. So let me show you Almanac Barcelona Hotel. So Almanac Barcelona is part of a group, Almanac Hotels. The owner is from Vienna. And this is the first hotel of a collection of 10 hotels that he wants to create across Europe. So Almanac is a new luxury hotel brand. So Almanac Barcelona is the first hotel we opened just two years ago, on February 2018. 
and we have an amazing location because we are just a few steps far from Baixa de Gracia and a few steps far from Plaza Catalunya. So here around, we have the best boutiques, we have um, other shopping, we have restaurants, museums, so we have the best location in Barcelona for sure. Regarding the hotel, we go inside. So it's a boutique hotel with 91 rooms, but all the public areas are very spacious. So here you can see, for example, the lobby, that for a boutique hotel, I think it's quite big. And it's perfect for those times where we need to keep the distance of two meters due to the current situation. Also, Manac Barcelona is different from other luxury hotels in the city because uh, we have great details that makes the difference. So, for example, we have our own atelier and we change the flowers every week and they are very creative. Also, we have our own beer and our own coffee. And also we have our um, own amenities that was created by a performance located in, in Barcelona. Okay, so regarding the rooms and suites, we have in total 91. 30 of them are suites, so they are, it's, it's a lot, it's a large number of suites for the 91 boutique hotel. And here we have the Almanac room. This is our standard room. And keep in mind that it has around 32 square meters. That is one of the biggest standard rooms in the city center for a luxury hotel, okay? So you can see that this is beautiful. And also um, the bed is exclusively for Almanac hotels. So we have many details. Also Almanac brand is a very technological company. And we have, as you can see, a small screen on the room where you can control everything. And also we have a mobile, Samsung mobile, as you can see. And we offer to the clients the national and international calls free of charge. And also they can take with them during the stay in our hotel. And they can, they can order, they can call to the hotel when they are outside of the city or they can look for on Google Maps through the mobile. Then you can see the, the bathroom, everything is marble. So the materials that we have used at the hotel, they are very high quality. All the interiors was done by Henry Wittstein. He's very famous and popular uh, designer in, in Spain. Then we have Junior Suites. I love this type of rooms. Um, they are bigger than the Almanac. And in this case, we offer bath and shower in all the rooms, in all the Junior Suites. Then we have another category is the Almanac Suite. This type of room is perfect for families because they are connecting with another Almanac room. So for four or five people, it's, it's perfect. And you can see also the, the style of the room is beautiful. Then on the seventh floor, we have everything suites. We have our top suites. We have terraces, terrace suites, and also we have the penthouse. This, for example, is a terrace suite, and all of them, they have a private living room and a private terrace. And here you can see another example. Also, in this type of rooms, we offer the both options, shower and bath. Okay. And here we have the penthouse. It has around 125 square meters. We have the living room with uh, views on the terrace. And then next to the living room, also, we have the dining room. Here, the client can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and they can enjoy the terrace, which is facing the Asedegracia. So this, this room is beautiful. So you can see that we have different room types for different type of clients, for families, couples, business, everybody. So it's perfect. Regarding the restaurant, we have our hidden restaurant. Here, we offer the breakfast, which is full American breakfast. Okay, and also we offer lunch and dinner. So let me explain you that just this year, on February 2020, we started to collaborate with Chef Rodrigo de la Calle. He has one star Michelin restaurant in Madrid, and also he works with Air China, and he created the menus for the business lunch, I business class, and also first class on, on the Air China things. Okay, so Bidens restaurant is a healthy, plant-based, and honest Mediterranean cuisine. And you can see here some examples of the, of the dishes that we offer, and they are all of them delicious. Okay. Then next to the restaurant, we have the bar, which is the all, it's all day open. 
So clients can, can come here when they want to drink something or we have a special menu for the bar. Then we have our super terrace Azimut located on the eighth floor and we have an amazing view on Barcelona. And it's great because we have one park close, which is perfect for winter that the clients can enjoy the terrace even in winter season. And then we have the exterior part, which is amazing. And also we have at the end, the swimming pool. So the swimming pool is exclusively for the clients staying at the hotel. And then we have also wellness. This is included in the rate of the room. Then we offer sauna, hammam, and relaxation area. And also we have a room for treatments for the clients that they want to do a massage. And then next to the wellness, we offer the fitness center, which is 24 hours open. Okay. So I think it's, it's beautiful look to the hotel. The location is perfect and we have many details that makes the difference. And just to finish, I want to share with you all the health and safety measures that we are doing when we open the hotel again, the DD is to open on September 2020. And just to give you some examples, we can offer personalized breakfast on the restaurant or in the room where clients prefer. Also, we can guarantee the two meters uh, distance restaurant and also in the lobby or other public areas because you saw that the public areas are very special. Then we have an almanac app where clients can access to the room with the mobile. And also we can guarantee the early check-in and late check-out because we will have the rooms empty during 24 hours. And also we will offer the temperature for all the guests and employees. So this just to give you an example, I will share with you the presentation and anything you need, just let me know. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Sandra. Huh? And uh, you maybe want to mention that there is uh, Almanac Vienna coming up for next year. <laughs> exactly. So we are going to have the second Almanac. will be open hopefully the second quarter of 2021. And then we have other two other properties in Prague and Zagreb. And also the is to renovate both of them and rebranding to Almanac. That this could be more in two or three years. But Almanac Vienna will be the second one. Thank you. That's great news. So we had some question. I don't know if Pascal is coming back with us. I'm <laughs> uh, here. <laughs> yeah, my dear, I know you are not far. <laughs> uh, all right. Alison was asking, do you, or as other people can use a beach club where I am now? Huh? Somebody who was asking me, somebody was asking me if I was, where I was. <laughs> so that's where I am. So the, yes, the, the, the beach club and restaurant is also open to um, non-hotel uh, guests, of course. Mm -hmm. Alors, is a beach restaurant reserved for hotel guests only? So, no, you said so. Huh? Uh, how many... They do have a VIP access, or yes, of course, they, they are, uh, this is our priority, but uh, of course it's open to everybody, as the restaurants in the hotel and... Uh, Mm -hmm. and the spa okay. and the nightclub. Mm. Uh, do you have room with a view? So which, I don't know if you have a number, if you know how many rooms have a, and what type of view? Uh, I would say 70, 80% of the rooms have a view. I mean, garden or, uh, or pool or sea. So most of, the, most of our rooms have a view, mm -hmm. except the, the, just maybe a, four or five uh, uh, on the street, but uh, not a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, Inyo was asking, they said they're American Express, and they said you're not part of a Max Consortia. Uh, and they said- Not how, anymore. Voilà, how can we book to get amenities? Voilà. But I think we can. Uh, yes, we are, we are leading hotels of the world. We are signature, virtuoso. But they are, uh, they are not no more in signature, so that's why they were asking. Huh? But yeah, we, yeah. We will speak uh, it when we do the reservation, huh, Pascal. <laughs> we can talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew that. I know. <laughs> Alors, uh, the rooms and suites, huh? uh, 40 and 50, 40 rooms and 50 suites. Uh, yes, yeah, something like 50% are rooms, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. Bertha's question. And mm -hmm. Sandra, yes, you said, is it where I'm sitting now? I'm sitting at the beach. 
uh, Chalpa, how friendly is it? But I think that now the question is for uh, Iro. Uh, how friendly is this for wheelchair-bound guests? But that's what I think. Jalpa, tell me if I'm wrong. But I think that's a question for the uh, for you, <laughs> Iro. Huh? For us, uh, because we are flat uh, and we're located right by the road with direct access, we, we are able to accommodate um, such guests, of course. And we have many ground floor rooms, so that is not a problem at all. Thank you, Iro. <laughs> Ellen is asking how many villas at Omar and how far from the beach? All the restaurants outside Omar, breakfast included? Hello. Okay. So uh, we have five private villas and each villa is also sold as two separate rooms where the lower room is sold with its own private uh, swimming pool and the upper room is sold with its own rooftop. So we have two options for these rooms, whether to sell them as a whole villa with a private swimming pool and a rooftop or a deluxe room with its own private swimming pool and garden and a deluxe room with a private rooftop. So this was the answer to the first question. The second one was how close we are to the beach, correct, Dominique? Yes, yes. Okay, so all of the caldera facing properties uh, on Santorini are on the other side of the beach because we're actually, um, the way the island got detached during the volcanic eruption, this is what actually created this high point where all these beautiful hotels are located and this is what allows us to have the beautiful view so we're actually about 300 meters above sea level the sea and beaches are on the other side of the island and it's approximately a 25 uh, to 30 minute drive okay. is there other restaurants outside oma if you mean close by, yes, there are. In 10 minutes, you are in the center of town, uh, so you can enjoy the restaurants there. Uh, so we're actually secluded, but not that secluded to be very far away from uh, the buzz, let's say. Is breakfast included? Breakfast, our champagne bellini, a signature breakfast is indeed included. We are there, we're all coming, we're all coming. <laughs> and it's a la carte, everything is made in-house by our chefs. Everything is baked fresh and delicious. Uh, Lisanne would like to know if there is a hotel on Mykonos that you would say is comparable to Omar for a good twin center stay. Uh, and she cannot wait to come there. Well, Alison, we can't wait to have you. Uh, to be honest, Mykonos is on our radar, so a pop collection just might very soon be able to announce uh, a property on Mykonos. Uh, until then, what we do is we always try to offer some uh, suggestions to our partners who are looking for dual stays, so their guests can enjoy uh, a similar standard of services on Mykonos as well. Alison, yes. in the villa, is there a downstairs bathroom? Yes, yes, the villas have two bathrooms, one on each floor. And is there a sofa bed that can be set up daily or for the whole stay? The villa is actually, the ground floor of the villa features a built-in uh, double bed. And what we do is we set that up as a sofa if our guests want to uh, have the, li the living area there and not a second uh, bedroom. Mm -hmm. So now the question is for uh, Sandra. Sandra, Almanac Hotel offer king size bed? Yes. Yes, I could have answered, but <laughs> I slept in those beautiful beds. And Celine is asking, ah, the villa, so my guess we are back to Hero. The villa accommodate how many person and what and is a local tax? charge per night per, per person, even for children, or is there a minimum tax, a maximum tax? There is a 0.4% uh, uh, accommodation tax, mm -hmm. and uh, the villas can accommodate up to four guests. Up to four guests huh? So that's it on the Q&A, but I saw some more on the chat coming, but, uh, alors, uh, friendly for now. Alison, you said, you said that the Almanac, when it just opened uh, for a pump trip, I love it, great location for sure and lovely stuff. Uh, Bess, I had the opportunity to stay there at the Almanac and love it. Uh, Anna, beautiful hotel, the Almanac. 
Ennio is happy with our answer. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, the big question for Mr. Fenia, when will the Almanac will open? <laughs> oh, I'm trying, I'm trying, but... <laughs> um, actually, we would like to open the second week of September, but honestly speaking, we don't know yet. We would like the second week, but maybe the third or the fourth, we are, we are checking with the owner. Uh, Dina, Dina is sending us her best regard, warmest regard from Mexico City. Gracias, Dina. Uh, and uh, yes, with the hope to work hard again to make the dream of travel a real and true. And congratulations on your wonderful property. Thank you very much. <laughs> so that was our last uh, comment or question. I know we went a little bit past the hour, but I hope it was interesting for everyone. And I was grateful to have our wonderful partner and our, you have a both partner on both sides for me. I'm in the middle and we're all together. Huh? So thank you everyone. Have a good rest of the day. Huh? Buenas tardes. Bonsoir. And bonsoir. Uh, good evening for our guests. Our panelists are also in the other. <laughs> it's a night for you. Uh, so thank you so much again. Huh? Bye bye. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. We, will be, we will be sending the recording huh, to everybody. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.